In this sum, length is 50, height is 30 and width is 30. So what we will do, again if you see in this sum, origin is here and then given 50 on the right hand side. So same way, I will draw origin over here, I will write over here and from here I will take 50, height 30 and width 30. Then I will draw a vertical line and I will draw inclined lines at 30, 30 degree with the set square and I will complete this layout. Now after this, if you notice front view, this entire block, if you see A, B, C, D, E, F, this entire A, B, C, D, E, F is one unit. So what we will do, first we will try and draw that unit. We will mark point A over here, A to B, then B to C, C to D. Now if you see, D to E we don't have any slope, we don't have any angle. So what we can do, instead of starting extending from D to E, instead of going from D to E, we will go from A to F. So take A to F which is 10, then again we go inside by 10. See all these lines will be inclined at 30, 30 degree. And now you know this point P which is here, you know point D which is here and you can join them. After completing front view, if you see top view, there are 1, 2, 3, there are 3 rectangles. I can say there are 3 different uh, surface or layers, uh, 3 different surfaces. So if you see this first part, let's see this part. This is second part which is the slope and this is third part. Now I will draw this step by step. Now if you see front view, this entire thing is one unit. This CD is here. If I want to mark this CD, then top view is here. So same part will be behind also. So what we need to do, we need to go behind by 30. So from this is C, you go behind by 30. From D, you go behind by 30 and you join those. So that means we have done part 1. Now we need to draw part 2, which is incline. Now if you see D is behind, same way E, e will be also behind. See if in top view, E is here. From here to here, how much it is? 30. So what we need to do? We need to go behind by 30. So you draw a line, which is inclined at 30 degree. And you mark 30 on this. And after that, you join this to this. So you'll get part 2 also. Now, to draw part 3, if you see in top view, this part is behind also. We have already drawn this part in front view. See this, this part. So now, how much I have to go behind? I have to go behind by 30. So I'll go behind by 30. And then I will join this. So that means I got third part as well. And I will tackle this. So now if you see in this sum, in front view this entire unit is one part. In top view there are one, two, three layers. Now if you see top view, see the main diagram. One, two, three. They all are in one level. There is only a dark line. So always remember whenever you see a dark line, that means there is a change in plane. 